shout of praise. Please be seated. In the year of 1979, I had encounters with the Lord. I said it on, on Saturday. God servant Pastor Yadebe was in Utupo then, 79, 78 and 79. A young men, we came up, but like young men, we just got influenced away again and just sl slacked down. But in the high institution in 1986, my life was going in a particular direction. And one night of the 12th of May of 1986, around 2 a.m., my heart was beating so fast. And I had some, I think, a visitation. And the voice told me, if you die now, where are you going? I said, I don't know where I'm going. He said, but you can know now. Long story made short, within two hours, between 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., I rededicated my life to Christ, gave myself over to God in that 1986. It was on the campus, and I began to look for which fellowship, and I had a brother, I have a brother, who is still a member of Deeper Life Church here today, and I remember that how he has invited us to Deeper Life several times. And then I looked forward to Deeper Life Campus Fellowship. And I went to the Campus Fellowship, cleaned the chairs before the others arrived, and then stood outside and began to usher people who were old members of the, of the fellowship. And they were looking at me wondering, which old usher is this? And this was my first time. I ushered them all in and then became a very fervent member of the Deeper Life Campus Fellowship. We will, we, will, we will take buses from the campus to the church in town every Sunday. I became a member of the Deeper Life Choir. I, I was involved here, involved there. And I'm saying all this to let us know that some people think that when they see a person, he just happened. No, sir. We have a history. We have a history. We didn't just happen. When you see me stand with intensity and speak on holiness and speak on righteousness and speak on character, speak on integrity, speak on consecration, speak on sanctification, there is somewhere a root from where it came. It, there's no way it can live. I tell people, I said, the challenge we have in our generation today is that many ministers just came into the gospel without the foundation of holiness, character, sanctification. They just met the prosperity gospel in the middle. And as a result of that, there is so much that is going on. And what you don't know, you can't tell another person. Where you have not been through, you cannot pass another through. And that has been my encounter. We went all the way to IBTC, Ayobo in Lagos, for campus fellowships and campus retreats, and so on and so forth. And these are formative things that built our lives and will remain with us permanently. And we are grateful. And I am glad to let you know also that I was in the Deeper Life Bible Church Choir in the Otuko Church. And the pastor of that church is here now. 86, Pastor Chris Obaji, please can you come? This was my 86 pastor, Deeper Life Bible Church. He was a psychiatry nursing officer, part time, and then ministry. And full time. A word of greeting, sir. Praise the Lord! I'm the happiest to be here tonight. Because what this man of God is saying is just the truth and the truth. The foundation was very solid under the ministry of our Father and the Lord. It's a real gift to this generation. He's a man of vision. He loves 
wife too, who is also my sister, is a gift that God has given to us. I want to say what God is doing is marvelous in our eyes. And like the ambition say, the greater to come. God will take you higher. The glory of your name and be our portion in Jesus. Let your foundation be so solid and you can see how God has helped him and the wife and the family and the entire ministry. And we are seeing this as the Lord's doing. And God is going to bring millions of souls into his kingdom through this ministry in the name of Jesus. My earnest prayer is that as you come here, don't just come here to just see side. Do you dedicate your life to Christ? The Lord wants to use you as he's using them. And I want to assure you, this day is a remarkable day. And it's going to be a turning point that you can never forget in your life in Jesus' name. We give all the glory to the Lord. God bless. His identity is love himself. That is the word pastor is his definition heart for people. And we appreciate and love you, sir, in Jesus' precious name. Having said that, we want to bring our father up. That is the authenticity of the apostolic ministry. Signs, wonders, miracle, prophetic. Listen to me. The first time I heard word of knowledge. There is somebody here. There is somebody here. There is somebody here. There is somebody here. I heard it from him the first time. Science wonders. Cripple paralyzed for 22 years. Dropped at the entrance of where he went to minister. Just by passing by. Next thing the cripple rose. You are face to face with great grace. Our mama, we thank you, ma. Our mama, for, who came with daddy, we thank you, ma. And Pastor Hassan, who was Deeper Life Pastor in Abuja here, we were together in Abuja many years ago. We welcome you too. Can we give the Lord a big clap of hand as we welcome our Papa W.F. Kumui? 